Hi everyone, it's Carl Klett, do it yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to check and replace oxygen sensor in this VW Polo 1.2 liter engine. The reason that I'm doing that is because of heater element inside oxygen sensor. In this case it's burned and it caused engine light on, so stay with us. Let's get started. First we have to diagnose the problem and be as close as possible to faulty element. As you can see when we start the engine, engine light is on. The easiest way to see what's going on is to plug diagnostic tool via OBD2 port and read fault codes. Turn ignition on and what we have here. We have code P1116, what means open circuit in heating element oxygen sensor bank 1 sensor 1. Before we do anything, it's worth to clear codes and read them again. So do it, go back, turn ignition off for a couple seconds, then turn it on and read codes again. As you can see, code is still in ECU. Now we can test oxygen sensor heating circuit to confirm if it's really oxygen sensor or it might be wiring harness, blown fuse or ECU themselves. In this car oxygen sensor 1 is at the top of exhaust manifold, right here. To get to that sensor we have to remove top engine cover with air filter body. Before we take it off we have to disconnect two hoses. First one is close to the battery, second one is close to brake fluid reservoir. To disconnect second one we have to squeeze it. Now, remove oil cap and raise cover up. Put cap back and secure throttle body against any loose dust around. Now we have pretty good access to that sensor. We have to locate the plug, it's under starter motor. Unplug it and cut the cable ties that hold the wire. Alright, we have the plug in comfortable place, we can test the circuit. In this oxygen sensor, pins responsible for heater element are pin number 3 and pin number 4. To do that we will use multimeter. First set it up on the resistance, range up to 200 ohms. Sensor heating circuit should be in range 1 to 5 ohms, but this one fails. Switch multimeter on circuit test and as you can see, circuit is open. Have a look on oxygen sensor wires, are they ok? And they are fine. Heating element must be burned inside. We can remove the sensor from exhaust manifold. This job can be super easy when you have special oxygen sensor socket with slot for sensor wire, but unfortunately I don't have one. For my safety and comfort we work with cold engine and cold exhaust manifold. But if you have that special socket, it's easier to unscrew the sensor from hot exhaust manifold. I will try to do it with 22mm spanner. This heat shield won't let me set spanner properly, so I will remove it. Remove two M6 bolts from the top and it should be one at front very close to the radiator, but in this car that one is gone. Close to the oil filter there is a metal clip that also keeps the shield on place. And that's the clip. Oh, I want to show you something. The exhaust manifold is broken. Here is large crack. We will replace it in very close future, but till that time car needs to ride so we will continue this job. Take 22 mm spanner and try to break it loose. Oh well, leverage is too short. I don't want to hit anything around while struggling with the sensor. I have to use deep socket and breaker bar. Sensor wire will definitely disturb so I have to cut it. Sensor is damaged anyway so for him there is no difference. 
I will use a bit of penetrating spray, maybe it will help, but remember, my exhaust manifold is cold, don't spray it on hot manifold because it can crack. And that was much easier. Now I will show you working heating circuit on new oxygen sensor, first circuit test. And it's ok, set multimeter on resistance and it shows 3.7 ohms, that's perfect. Time for fitting. Take sensor wire and carry through heat shield. New sensor has got a bit of antiseed grease on thread. That will make it a lot easier to come off when we will replace exhaust manifold. Once you get it threaded in, tighten it up all the way. Ok, install heat shield, make sure you fit metal clip in right place, then tighten M6 bolts, New oxygen sensor comes with new plastic clips and cable ties to hold wire on place. Install them as well. Connect the plug, put plug on place and tie cable ties on wire. Remove glove from throttle body and install top cover. Make sure it fits properly on throttle body. Plug two hoses, don't forget the oil cap. Last thing is to clear fault codes. Turn ignition on and go to the engine. Read codes and clear it. Check it again. Turn ignition off, wait couple seconds and turn it on. Read codes. And it's perfect. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. Job done. Thanks for watching.